Okay. Um, all right, so let's talk about the exceptions you're going to face when you're dealing with electron configurations. There's going to be a few of them, but we're going to talk about the main ones you're probably going to see in class. All right, so let's talk about chromium. Chromium is a transition metal, and it's 24 electrons, and here is the orbital diagram. If we were to make this shorthand and make the electron configuration for this, we would make this 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d4. Okay. From now on, every time you see 3D4, you're going to change it. We do not like 3D4. Do the D sublevel likes to, is most stable when it's either half full, all the electrons are, um, all the orbitals are filled with at least one electron, or completely filled. Um, right now, we're one electron short of it being half, halfway filled. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to, that should be a two there, sorry. We're going to take one of the electrons in the 4S orbital and move it over to the 3D orbital. So instead, we're going to write... Um, actually, we're going to make this argon, as we noted before, in the um, noble gas configuration. And we're going to make this 4S13D5. This is halfway filled, which is pretty stable, and this is much more stable being halfway filled rather than being the D4. Um, you might see this is the uh, or diagram that you're going to, or the electron configuration that you're going to see, um, and this is actually higher in energy than this. So this is talking about sequential, or not sequential, but like the order of energy, you might see it also looking like this. This is just doing it in, or, in um, order of numbers. Three comes before four. But um, they're exactly the same thing. They're depicting the exact same thing. They're not, nothing's different between them. So you might see either one, but they're the same. Down here, the other exception you're going to see is copper, um, or anything along copper, which we'll talk about. OK, so let's make the um, electron configuration for that. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d9. From here on out, anytime you see d9, we're going to change it. Okay, so anytime, anything, anytime it ends in d9, we're going to fix it up a little bit. Same exact way. We're going to take an electron from the 4s and we're going to move it over to the, to the um, 3d. That way, this d, d orbital or D sub level be completely filled, which is very stable, um, versus, and the S orbital be halfway filled. So again, I'm going to make this argon, just to make it easy for myself, 4S1, 3D10. And again, you might see it as argon, 3D10, 4S1. Same exact thing. So those are the exceptions, the main exceptions that you'll see when dealing with electron configuration.